Hi, this is Ryan with Better Tattooing. Today we're gonna to be talking about ugh, doing tattoos and creating a soft or a hard edge. And a couple techniques on how to actually do it. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> All right, well that's over with. I just something on my teeth. Um, softer hard edges. A lot of people talk about this when they get into realism, but realistically, anything that we get into art-wise is gonna have a soft or a hard edge. So when we start defining our, our designs, when we're going, I, I'm really weird because when I do like my, my actual art before the tattoo, I'm thinking about how I'm gonna be putting it in all the time. I'm not just trying to create a design and hope that it fits. I'm thinking about where it's gonna be on the body, how light's gonna interact with it, where people are gonna see it in the you know environment that it's gonna exist in, and how it's going to age. So <clears throat> when, we're thinking about, when we're thinking about specifically softer hard edges, what we're thinking at, about is where things are gonna terminate, right? A hard edge is like a line. Right, where there's a distinct separation between two areas. Now this can denote depth, or it can even be just a change in value, right? This can be like high, it's more forward, and this is low underneath, vice versa, or whatever else. Uh, hard edge is always gonna define just a distinct separation between things, right? Now a soft edge is something that might be a little bit less defined. If we're gonna do something like this, <laughs> right? This can be a space like if we have a variegation inside of a leaf or some type of Venus work that we're gonna be working off of where we can see that there is a dramatic change in the topography that's there, but it's not enough to denote actually describing and defining a separate layer for that, that thing that we're doing, right? So when we're doing tattooing and we have two of these things next to each other, this is considered an outline and maybe like a shade break or a line inside that we're gonna use gray line to define what's gonna happen off of it. We need to know like when to apply these and when not to, <laughs> or even how to do them. And so, I mean, the first explanation is done. You know, if you have something that you need to terminate that needs its own distinct space, hard, soft is gonna blur those edges, right? <clears throat> if we're going to like portraiture, this may be edge of hair, maybe even that crown on the ear, nostril, part of the iris, something like that, right? All the softer lines may be like the edges of the nose, things that are gonna change in depth, or that pre the presumption of depth inside of the piece, but they're not gonna actually require something so solid that you know it's gonna make it look out, because that'll make it look unnatural. So, how do we do these? Hard edges are done with liners. <laughs> done. <laughs> That's easy. Really simple, I mean, you can also do it with a, a mag, but usually what's gonna happen is whatever type of fill that you're gonna have there is gonna be solid, saturated, and it usually is going to be cleaned up or touched up with a liner at the end to increase definition. And when you do this, usually you're going to have the liner pointing into wherever this edge is. So like if I have a high and a low spot and I'm defining the high spot with this line, I will run my liner cutting back in towards the thing that it's supposed to be defining rather than pointing it away. Because as it ages, the pigment is going to move in the way that that trauma is being applied, right? So we don't wanna have a blowout and down <laughs> over time as the skin ages five, 10 years out. So if we wanna keep it crisp, we're gonna undercut and bring it up like that, really simple. Use a liner, you can use color, you can use black, you can use white, whatever, but make sure that you're gonna keep that thing nice and tight and well-defined. That is a hard edge. Whoop. Now, soft edges can get tricky. <clears throat> um, normally when we're applying them, we can use liners, but normally these are either gonna have to be wash lines if it's with a liner, right? Or they're gonna have to be scupped lines. Whoop. Uh, we'll scupped, I'm gonna just go scupped in general, so wash. Uh, scupped if we're gonna be using a mag or a liner. What do I mean by scup? Um, it's, it's a process of basically just like flick shading, going back over and around, right? So we have our needle outside the skin, coming back in, coming back in and whipping out. And all you're doing is just not defining that edge where these needles are actually coming in. And since they're hitting randomly around the edges, it's gonna look much, much more organic and natural when it you know, actually peels and settles. It's not gonna be dead straight. There's gonna be small variations. And that's, that's realistically what a soft edge is. It's not so well-defined, it's kind of more scattered. So 
uh, scuffed with a you know curved mag uh, flat sometimes can end up leaving um, gradient lines coming off of them if you don't know how to do it quite well so if you're just learning sticking with rounded mags works great uh, another thing you can use and this is what they were originally designed for is round shaders um, round shaders you can literally just go in and try to run a line and it'll automatically break it apart make it soft it's not a solid filled line it's not really well concentrated stuff right you're going to get something that as it heals it's going to spread bleed and soften out i'll always depend on the tone that you're using and whatever volume of the pigment that's in there that's not washed out but that's the easiest way to do this stuff if you're lining in something that needs to have a soft edge use a round shader and do it the same speed you're not trying to full saturate you're just trying to get the line in there so that it looks like it's shaded easy peasy and two very simple techniques look at your artwork see what needs hard or soft define it like that and you're good to go that's it for today just rhyme with bedroom tattoo and signing off <laughs>